All right, this is um, our inventory number 42528. It's a um, Hardinge model HLVH, uh, tool makers preci high precision lathe. Serial number is HLVH 6920P. All right. All right. I'll show some of the machine here. You're up front. You want to go off to the left first and kind of pan around, and then we'll fire it up, put okay. the controls on, and uh, start over here for reverse switch down here. Hope I remember to use that. We can we can try that. It works. And uh, coming around the side here, collar closure, of course, is all intact. Uh, we can show a quick show on the uh, threading package. That's all intact. Got that in there. And we'll run that in a minute too. You know, was I too fast? I got it. I'm quick. I'm so fast. And then electric panel down low. Uh, we are running low voltage here. I've got it temped in it. We're running our 208. And we've got a set of schematics for it, which are nice. Good, everything's in good, good condition down here. And that's pretty much it on this side. Coming around to the other side, the front end. Uh, we can uh, take a look at the tailstock here right away. Coolant pump is right here. As soon as I turn out, we'll, we'll try that once or twice. Got the coolant pump. And uh, yeah, the add-on DRO, of course, is in here. As you come around by the tailstock here, this is all moving really nice. Show some of the quill there. Get that out there. And am I locked? Yeah, let me move, move the whole thing. Let's get this. Yeah, it's got a real nice even feel to it. So see some of the dovetail there. It's not too bad. Of course, it's always good back here, but it looks nice up front too. If you want to pan that way, show some of the some of the iron here. I can move the cross light over. In fact, let me turn a couple of lights on here as we're doing this. How's that? There we go. Getting oil. I've been pumping it up for the last 20 minutes, so we're getting a nice oil film in there now. And spindles clean too. Same thing. Not not too much uh, wear and tear on this thing at all. And. On a low speed, it's hard to turn. And up front, same thing. Lead screw looks pretty good. Threading package all looks pretty nice. Our feed lever, it does have the stop dogs on it too for kicking out the threading. And rack and pinion is pretty good here. You see, I'm just barely, that's a good size. That's not worn at all. And for the sake of the cross slide, right up here again, piece, same thing. I think this is all yeah, a couple thousandths. I mean, it's, it's not bad. Thing moves straight away. And how's the compound? I didn't even, even look at this. This guy here. Yeah, it feels nice. So, same thing. A couple thousand picks it up right away. So, wear and tear is minimal. We'll power it up. Then we can play with the feed. The feed can only go on when the spindle's running. So let's do spindle first. Let's turn it on up here first, maybe. And uh, and for that matter, let's do the uh, Sony scale right away. Bring that up and reset up. And we can dial this as it goes to tenths. Let me reset again and get them zero out. Zero, zero. And that's real nice there if you're on that. I'm just barely moving. So four decimals over. I mean four four places after the decimal. Tenths is nice on this machine. So that all works. Uh, faster slower with coolant. I'll cool it on real quick. You can hear that go on, so that works. Brake on off. There's the brake. Usually I just leave it off and let it coast for now. I'm not in a rush. And uh, spindle start. Low speed. And where are we at? Midstream maybe? I'm going to go a bit faster. I'm going to 270, 370. Low speed. High speed. Low speed. And I come out of high with the brake. There's coasting and brake on. That works pretty good. So back to low speed. And we'll take it up some. Oh, you can kind of see this too. That's right. Let's show some of this. This all looks pretty nice. I'm going to go faster, slower. Just kind of watch the whole lead screw here. It looks like it's greased up pretty good. It's got a nice sound to it. The servo motor works nice. Both of the limit switches work. I've checked those. So they'll, they'll cut the switch off if you go too far. So that's all good. And it breaks down there, of course. You just can't see it. So going back up high again. We'll go back up to the spindle. We'll speed it up in the high range. 
see what it sounds like here. There's low. I'm just going to go right into full speed. And I'm going to take it up right around 2,500 or so. There's 17. 23. Uh, in fact, I'll take it right into the switch. That's it. I'm dead. Won't go any higher. That's 3,000. Sounds nice. You only hear, the only thing you hear spinning is the uh, collar closer back here. That's all. Now uh, you got to cowl it in there too, just so to stop it from rattling around. You go back down again, just so we don't go flying when we feed. So meanwhile, leaving that like that, I'm going to go over to the feed package here, left, right, for the uh, motor. And without threading, we're just going to put this in, and we can do both at once, I think, on this machine. Let me move it over a little bit. There we go. And cross light too. I can speed it up, slow it down. But the cross light should probably be in a little bit farther first. We're still longitudinal. There we go. And bring that back in. And there's left. Stop. I'm just going to go to right now. Reverse feed. Slow it down. Speed it up. Midstream. And off because that's what that does. And disengage, disengage, move that over. And well, I'll leave this. Let me move this out of the way a little bit more so we can play with the threading package here. We're in feed thread right now. I'm going to shut it down and move that over to the threading package now. I don't want to tear up these gears, so break. Now we do want to hurry. There we go. And I feel like that's engaged. And back to low just to check. And we have nothing. So let me see if I can get feed, thread, and, well, thread engage. We're still in neutral, my, my mistake. I guess it wouldn't be. Here we go. So there's threading there on the threading rod. You can kind of see that. I'll just go forward, reverse off the threading handle right here. That all works really nice. Forward, reverse. So we'll just leave it right there. And of course, if I bring the half nut in right now at this point, there she goes. So on, off, on. You're threading, cutting threads now. And just to go through the, the same thing, I think, well, high speed, well, same thing. We're cutting a fast thread now. But anyhow, that all works good. Back to low. Uh, this, this, this is the whole threading package here. I won't go through the nine stations, but threading works fine. Other than we can try the speeds right here. Again, let me shut it down here. There's the next speed. Um, on, on, the, on the one, I can go through two of them on the fly and you'll be able to see them. Just this, this, this deal right here. The three speeds of feeding, that's all. There's, there's, uh, this one's the fast, I have to kind of watch this one. That one's engaged. There, there's, there's three, that's the highest one. And we can slow it down to this side. And then one more is midstream right here. Yeah, it's mid. So that's all of that. Threading, brake controls, the DRO. What we, oh, I did see, I, I forgot, forward reverse on the spindle. We can shut this down. Right now we're doing forward in low, neutral, flip it over to reverse. There's the relay, and we are now running reverse in low or high. And even the interlock switch works for the spindle lock. A micro switch cuts out the control if, if we push it in. So we've got that. I'm going to go back to forward just so I forget. I don't forget where I'm at. Forward. That's good. Did we show the no. collar set up and stuff? We got a couple of carousels in here. Whole, a whole slew of tooling. I mean, at least for collets. Got the chuck down in there. So you can see those. Some odds and ends. It's all good stuff. And uh, tail stop. We're done with all that. And we do have the guard here for what it's worth, which is kind of nice. It is a nice guard, really. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I see a lot of those. And uh, of course the mag glass, and, which is nice also. And we're, uh, we're done here.